Well, hello and welcome. It is time once again to try to fix something. And today on the workbench, a PS5 Blu-ray edition. Uh, that is uh, a little under the weather. Not totally dead. It refuses to take an update, as you can see. And I have tried uh, multiple times. I've tried downloading the update, you know, over and over again. Delete it, start fresh, download it. Tried different flash drives. And for a time, it even gave me the option to um, reinstall or update from the network, from the internet. So I tried that and it would say corrupted. So I have a feeling I know what this is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it makes it, you know, like 30% on the progress bar when it's, when it's uh, trying to install the update and just kind of says, no, it's corrupt. If this works like the PS4 worked I think I think how the update works is it downloads it or transfers it from the USB drive into RAM first and then decompresses it and then applies it to the storage device so in the case of a PS4 you know your your spinning hard drive uh, in the case of the PS5 the onboard SSD so that's how I think this works. I think this could be a RAM issue. I think when it's working with it in RAM, it gets corrupted. So I think what my plan of attack is here, I think I'm gonna take this board inside, I'll get it out of this case, and I'm gonna try reflowing each one of the RAM ICs, one at a time, and see if it has any effect. I'll have to try, I'll do one, try the update, and then, you know, not it, try the next one. So, you know, you can see this could be a quite a lengthy process. But otherwise, if that does not fix it, if reflowing the RAM ICs does not fix it, then we're looking, I'm thinking at replacing some RAM ICs. And I do have some, but I really have no way of narrowing it down which one it is. So, I'd probably have to replace each one, one at a time. So, yeah, that's where we are on this one. Not going to be an easy one at all. But, um, but I've tried over and over again. It will not take it. So let's get it apart and get it inside, see if we can help that problem. All right, here we are at the workbench. And I did not take the board out of the case because the memory is on this side, so I can reflow it without taking it out and make the testing a lot quicker. Uh, but I had a thought once I got in here about, um, how about we go ahead and take a look under the thermal cam. Maybe one of these will uh, stick out and be a little bit colder, a little bit warmer than the rest of them. I mean, we might get lucky. So let's do that before we start reflowing these things. All right, I think we're ready. Uh, I think I've got AC power turned on. Let's see what gets warm or doesn't. Oh, I saw all the RAM light up. I can't really say that any of them are cold looking. Running about 40 degrees Celsius. Yep. So, yeah, I don't know if any of them are going to give themselves up. Well, that one does look a little hotter, doesn't it? 46. 47. That one's 44, 45. 47. That one's 48, 49. 52. Hmm. And that one's also 52. Maybe totally unrelated though. That one's up to 52. I think it's just certain RAM are in use right now. That's what I think. I don't think these other ones are in use at the moment. Okay. I mean, obviously some are colder than the other, but 
There are several that are colder. Not by a lot though. 50 degrees there, 56 there. I don't have a fan and this thing is gonna shut down here in a moment probably. Okay. All right, well, let's get started. I keep getting my camera in the right position. Um, I need to take this clamp out of the way, I do believe. I don't want to melt the plastic spacer under there. And for testing purposes, I suppose I'll just hold down on it. the you know the actual numbering of these things I'm going to start here and just call this one two three four five six seven eight we're going to start here as good a place as any So where are we now on this PS5? Well, we have uh, reflowed all eight of the of the RAM ICs, and no change. It still you know fails at the same point. So I'm still thinking RAM, not 100% on that, but I'm still thinking we have a bad RAM chip. And the only way I know to, to check for sure is to replace uh, these RAM chips one at a time. I'm not going to do all eight because that that gets you in trouble. Uh, then you don't know if you have a problem under one of them and anyway so I'm gonna do them one at a time I'm gonna take we'll do them in the same order like one two three four five six seven eight and I have already pulled and reballed eight uh, RAM ICs right over there and reballed those by hand and yes it was every bit as fun as you could imagine it was but it had to be done and I am going to get a uh, stencil for that because that's that's ridiculous um, but I will change this out one at a time and test it 
and see what it does. That's all I know to do at this point. Uh, we gotta try something. All right, our first RAM I see has been changed out. What's she gonna do? Okay, get some video maybe. Yes, get video. Get a controller hooked up. It worked. The very first one I changed out. I need to go to Vegas. I mean, what are the odds? The very first RAM I see I changed out. That's amazing. Okay. Well, if it doesn't crash out here, that is, but it got past that first part there. Hmm. So we have a different error. Maybe we're not maybe we're not in the clear yet. Very strange. I've never seen it do that though. Alright, and power it back on maybe. Okay, we're at a different spot though. We're getting a different screen. Come on, come on. Well, she shut off and didn't come back on. No lights. Okay, if I hit the button, it's probably going to turn it off. Yeah, I think that went off. Back on. And it went right back off again. on again Ooh, we were smoking hot I don't have a fan in this thing oh we're starting up
We're starting up. Wow. I haven't seen that one. I'm trying to get my fan up here to give it some cooling. Okay. Well, I've got a ton of uh, flux to clean off this board. I gotta give it a good test out too. But that's exciting to see. All right, well, I have brought this thing up and down a few times now. Well, turn my power back on. And it's been reliable. On. I mean, I, I went through the initial setup. You know, even gave it a, uh, a Wi-Fi access point. I still have not done my cleanup. You can there's there's a lot of flux on this board from reflowing. I made a mess, but she's she's been coming up every time. Press the uh, PS button. Wi-Fi antennas hooked up, so let me move my controller a little closer over here. There we go. Just realized I left the cables off. But yeah, she's working. So let me, like I said, do some cleanup, get the APU clamp back on it, and I may go ahead and take the board off and redistribute the, the uh, liquid metal while I'm in here. Uh, and then I'll put it back together, put the fan back on it, and let's see how well it runs. But that's exciting. All right, we are out in the garage. I've got it somewhat assembled. Uh, I want to give it another quick test before we fully really assemble it. Maybe install a game. But so far, she comes up every time. Uh, that way. My trusty PS4 controller. That looks promising. Okay, let me uh, get, let me finish reassembling it. Well, well, where are we on this PS5? Um, it has been probably three weeks since I've touched this one, and I think. Yeah, I remember we, we reflowed all the RAM, didn't help it. Uh, ended up, I uh, reballed all the RAM, didn't help it. Then I think I replaced one and it tried to work, it was not stable. It was a different type of RAM, different part number. And is that where I, was that, I think that's where I stopped. I ended up, I know, I, I after I got a donor who had the exact same part number of RAM and I took one off of that and put it on here. Anyway. We ended up with it. It, it. It's the software is installed now. It's still unstable as can be though, and uh, things are. I, I'm editing my videos out of order, I suppose. I know I've already, uh, at this point, finished a video where I changed out all the RAM to to cure a similar type of instability issue. Um, and that's what we're about to do again. I have um, taken a donor and pulled off all the RAM. Um, and yeah, I'm about to do that again. That's the only thing I can think. I still think we have a RAM issue here. I'm not sure what's totally going on. If it's just at this point, this must be just some bad RAM because I reballed these things with good leaded solder, and I think they're down good. So anyway, I'm about to pull all this RAM off. I just checked. I just fired it up before I pulled the board out. Uh, I tried it up one more time, and it's still not stable. It does turn on at this point, but it's not going to be reliable at all. You know, it crashes all the time in, in like a PS4 game or something. So, yeah, we're going to pull all this RAM off, replace it with some hopefully better RAM, and see what happens. See if we get some stability back.
So here we are back out in the garage. All of our RAM has been replaced with RAM from a donor that I hope is good RAM. Uh, I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Uh, I think I've got everything connected. Monitor is on. Is he staying on? That's a good first step. Monitor is locking. Okay. I think we're going to come up. But will it be stable? And that may take a little while to figure out. Okay. I guess I need to hook the Blu-ray drive back up. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do is try to button it up a little bit so I can have the fan sitting in there properly. Because I'm going to let it run for a while and let's just see if it's stable. Because I can't really run that game because that's a Blu-ray based game. And the Blu-ray is right there. Let me get this kind of put together a little bit better. But that's good. It turned on. All right, well, I've got it slipped together enough where I can run it for a while so the fan is sitting in there and can cool it. Um, let's just see if we will start this game up. I believe the Blu-ray is connected. Oh, nope, I guess that disc is not in there. I think I've lost that disc. I think I left it in the console that I have since sold. Let's see pile of games over here, GTA 5, lots of GTA 5, okay, I'll stick Watch Dogs in there, yeah, I like my uh, Injustice 2 game I have because it was so quick to install, okay, I guess I won't be playing that one, I hate that, Maybe it'll turn up in one of these other consoles I've got waiting around over here. Uh, how do I get out of this? Oh, you know what I just did? I just put that disc in there upside down. Now let's see if it'll read it. Alright, I'm gonna let that install and we'll just I'll be watching it see if it stays stable. So far, so good. I'll be have to watch it for a while here to check it. But yeah, right now she's working. Let me watch it for a while and I'll, get, I'll bring you back. Well, Watch Dogs ran for a couple of hours, no problem. It actually, the console actually went to sleep and I woke it back up, no problem. Uh, so I decided to try something else. We've got Minecraft in here, I'm gonna let it run for a while, but so far we are rock solid. I think this one's gonna be good. I'll put it through a lot of tests. I'll, I'll put a PS5 game in there, stress test it a good bit. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be good. And this is the second one that I've been able to fix by replacing the RAM. And I'm pretty sure both times I replaced the Micron RAM that was on there with Samsung RAM from another donor board. I think both times. So that's something just to keep in mind. I'm not sure if that's relevant, important, but I'm gonna keep that in mind. That's happened twice. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna let it run, test it out, but she's been rock solid for longer than I've ever seen it be rock solid. You know, it used to be it wouldn't last more than a few minutes and just start crashing out. But if you liked that one, thought it was somewhat interesting, educational, entertainment, whatever, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the very next repair. So long for now.